Well, as you know, the heat is on this weekend. Certainly felt like it for Saturday. Meteorologist Matt Peterson in tonight tracking how hot Sunday is looking for us. Hi, Matt. Well, Joe, it looks like it's going to be almost a uh, carbon copy repeat of today into tomorrow. And we're back down the shore here on this Saturday evening. And yes, it does look. Last time I was talking about a little bit, maybe uh, we're talking about some guys fishing out there on the pier. And it does look like someone is trying to get a little bit of night fishing in, not to be confused with night putting. For those that are familiar with Caddyshack, you know what I'm talking about. But let's talk a little bit about how hot it was earlier today. 91 degrees is where we got in the city. Got to 90 in Atlantic City as well. Those 80s and even 92 in Reading. 89 earlier this afternoon in Wilmington. Now that 91, yes, it is scorching. But we are talking about this high heat kind of lagging for the month of June. Typically, we have about five days that hit 90 degrees or hotter in the city in the month of June. This was just our first one for the month. And of course, we only have a couple of days left. Doesn't mean that we're not going to get close to that average, but I don't think we're actually going to hit it. Overall, now in the city, it is clear, it is warm, and it is, yes, still a little bit on the muggy side, even as we move past the 11 o'clock hour. Temperatures out there, 70s for the most part. We have dropped down, though, into the 60s up in Mount Pocono. Now our high heat for summer is going to continue tomorrow. We sit under this heat dome. The humidity, not terrible. It's still going to be noticeable. You're still going to see the muggy factor, but it's not as bad as it could be as we head into July. Of course, we hit those dog days of summer. There is, though, an air quality alert that will be in effect for the Delaware Valley. Those with respiratory issues because the heat and humidity will be back could be a little bit problematic. Again, clear right now across basically the entire eastern half of the U.S. Showers and thunderstorms, though, out towards the Midwest. This cold front just south of Chicago firing up even some strong thunderstorms there. A few severe thunderstorm warnings a little bit early on in the night. 68 for the overnight low tonight. Mostly clear skies. It's warm. Then tomorrow, we're wrapping the weekend up. Another very summery day, slightly steamy at 90 degrees. If you're lucky enough to be down the beach tomorrow, 84 on the sand, a wonderful beach day, a little bit breezy out there, feeling good too. Then we start to move into the next work week. It is a shortened work week for a lot of folks. Showers and thunderstorms could develop as early as Sunday night into early Monday morning. The front will take a while to get through through Monday afternoon. Thunderstorms, a possibility. Some gusty winds could be out there as well. So not really a great start to our shortened work week. But look, as we head into late Monday and then into Tuesday, skies start to clear. We get a northerly breeze, and that means the humidity is going to drop. Steamy for us Sunday and Monday, but again, those dew points drop down into the very cool and crisp factor there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday before it does start to ramp back up a little bit towards the end of the week. Our seven-day forecast takes us from 90 tomorrow, 80s with the thunderstorm chances on Monday. Joe, look at Tuesday. Low humidity in 79 but then we start to creep it back up towards our holiday weekend here. Friday, Saturday, 90s, looking to return. Tuesday is the day of the week, huh? I think so. I don't know what your days off are this week, but if it's Tuesday, you're lucky. It's not Tuesday. Oh! <laughs> right. Okay. Matt, thank you so much. The Philadelphia